family very, very proud. Are you ready? And remember, today is the 16th day of February in 2024, where we find ourselves. My brother and my sister, today, several years ago, African people put themselves on the map of history. And this is what is referred to as today in African history. But also remember, today is Innovation Day, celebrated as such around the world. And in North Korea, we celebrate the Day of the Shining Star. And who is the Shining Star? Kim Jong-il. <laughs> sister let us look at what happened in reggae now today in 1974 the same year i was born nikki aka nicole marcelina bert was born in port antonio portland in jamaica happy birthday to nikki and today in 1993 hemp cultivation was legalized in the uk and they could pop they could cultivate it and use it now today in 2000 coffee was born and she was born michaela victoria simpson and she was born in spanish town in jamaica and coffee is a grammy award winning jamaican singer coffee today is a birthday happy birthday going out to you coffee and you know the music of coffee don't you you know the music of coffee don't you she has some very beautiful hits and one of those is this one that everybody loves right here in ghana and beyond and she calls it twos watch it out uh -huh. Victoria Simpson, aka Coffee. Today is a bad day, and she's exactly 24 years today. She was born in the year 2000, same year I released my first album. Oh my god, the Rasta Shrine. What a thing. Marada, now today in 1931, a rebellion against the British authority in Sierra Leone ended quickly as um, Haidara. Conto Fili, a traditional doctor and Islamic preacher, and his followers confronted troops of the Royal West African Frontier Force sent to arrest him. Now, the British commander was killed, as well as Conto Fili and four of his followers. Now, on Monday, we'll be talking about Conto Fili, such a powerful man, and he used a whole heap of power to be able to deal with the British. Today, in 1945, the Alaska Equal Rights Act of 1945, uh, the first anti -discrimination discrimination law in the United States was signed into law and today in 1959 Fidel Castro became premier of Cuba after dictator Fulgencio Batista was overthrown in January oh my god today in 1959 today in 1970 the 7th Africa Cup of Nations concluded in Sudan with the host country winning the championship for the first time today in 1991 Nicaraguan Contras leader Enrique uh, Bermudez was assassinated in managua today in 2018 the black panther movie was released based on the american comic book superhero and set in the fictional in fact the fictional african kingdom of wakanda now the film became a global mega hit and popularized the concept of african futurism no two ways about them thing the man me brother and of course as it stands right now i got good news for you today in 2021 5,000 people gathered in the town of uh, Kerata, uh, Bejaja province, to mark the two-year anniversary of uh, the Iraq process, uh, protest movement, demonstrations, uh, and between, and in fact, uh, some other things were in place. Uh, and we also had uh, some interesting things happening on the day as demonstrations had been suspended because of the COVID-19 pandemic in Algeria. But it still went on. Peace and nicely to celebrate this wonderful day today in African history. Now, King Legacy went all the way to Jamaica. He is a sound clash winner. 
my brother, my sister, he is a sound clash artist. Now he has been able to slaughter a lot of sound systems right here in Ghana. And he took his train all the way to Jamaica. My brother, my sister, on his flight to Jamaica. Lord God have mercy, he called me and said, Yo, Black Rasta, we are going down there to do things, man. Well, we knew he was going to do things, but we did not know that he was going to do things so massively and so humongously. King Legacy returned from Jamaica only last night. And this is the first interview he's granted right here in Ghana. Later in the day, we were going to be going to Jamaica to talk to some people in Jamaica to authenticate some things. My God have mercy. King Legacy, how are you doing, my brother? Oh God, <laughs> man, as I respect Black Rasta, you know? My God, <laughs> yo, me good, me good, me good, me good, like cooked food, man, oh and, like ackee and saltfish, you know, <laughs> like brown stew and mushroom alongside the rice and peas, you know. <laughs> my brother, I'm happy to have you. Give thanks, Natty. Give thanks. Now tell me, what took you to Jamaica? First and foremost, I would like to say thanks mm. and praises be to God, right? And also, I would like to say a big respect to Kes Namdi. Kes Namdi. I would like to say big respect to the G.O.D. himself, my chairman. Mm. Big respect, G.O.D. You know, anywhere you find yourself, Godfather, respect. What's his name? G.O.D. G.O.D. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Gabby, oh, sorry, oh, okay. I, I, I prefer to call him the G.O.D. G.O.D. Yeah, you know, he's the God himself, man. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to say fire, big respect fire, to, fire. you know, Assassin fire. Radio, the management from George Under to Jibe to Sadamufori. Right. All the crew, I would like to say big respect to mm. everybody for making sure that, you know, man have, you know, the right things to make sure that things happen. Okay. Now, the main aim, you know, is to go to Jamaica and make sure that you know, we bridge the gap between, you know, our reggae dance and sound system culture. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, you know, for, for over 25 years, right. you know, professionally playing reggae music and all that, man decided that I've not been to Jamaica before. Right. So let's take this opportunity and go there, visit the island and see what exactly is happening there. In mm -hmm. terms of we playing the music over here, trying to link these artists via social media and all that, sometimes it doesn't work. And sometimes they don't even rate we. Ah, wow. So we have to go there in person and show them that, yo, listen, we are here. We are here. So what exactly is the issue now? What let's, exactly? Let's sort it out. You mm. understand? Because Africa is the place to be now. Remember, okay. Europe can't save them. America can't save them. The only place to be right now is where? It's Africa. And to be precise, Ghana. Because Ghana is the gateway to Africa. So that is the main reason why we went to Jamaica. Just to be the gap between once and once in terms of reggae, dance hall and sound system culture. Okay. All right, man. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you were in Jamaica? Yeah. You were in Jamaica? Definitely. Okay. 100%. Okay. <laughs> so Assassin Radio took you to Jamaica? 100%. Interesting, man. Yeah. And you were supposed to go there and break the gap between Africa and Jamaica in terms of reggae, right? De definitely. Now tell me, when you were going to Jamaica, what were the expectations? Well, not today. The expectations were more. I was. You understand me? Same. In, in terms of, you know, expecting to meet e almost every artist. Same. Expecting to go for all the... Because Jamaicans party from Monday to Monday. Mm. Almost every night. I was. There is a bashment. Wow. Up to Mondays. Robert up Tuesdays. Weddy Weddy on Wednesday. You know, it's dance out Thursdays and all that. So, I, I, I really wanted to... You know, cover all the grounds, meet all the people, meet meet all these legends. Wow. In terms of all the recording studios, like go to the Arrows, go to the King Jammies, go, you know, go to the Black Scorpios and all that. So the the expectations there, nothing. It was so huge it and so huge. big. Wow. You understand me? Wow. Even what? though we, we, we're not able to cover all, but at, at least we did our best. Where the expectations met when you went to Jamaica? Well, I can I can tell you hundred percent that. You know the icing on the cake was this one here the sound clash right because going around nutty you know try my possible best to meet everybody mm -hmm. you know and they work with time mm. you understand me so when i move from the morning around 7 a.m sometime i'll return home around 1 a.m jamaicans work with time he, he, are you sure he, yeah man they work because a man will tell you that i'm at the studio meet me at mixing lab at this time and you go there and we have like 10 artists over there. You understand me? You have to deal with everybody. Right. You know what same, I mean? You same. have to deal with everybody. Same, same, you know? Same. So the, the up and down here and there, 
nothing. Mm. Expectations met 100%. Oh, wow. And the icing on the cake is the clash. All right, we're going to look at the clash. Yeah. But, I mean, the image of Jamaica that you had in your head, mm -hmm. when you traveled to Jamaica from mm -hmm. Ghana, mm -hmm. on arrival, mm -hmm. did you meet those expectations or it was bigger or smaller? Well, we, we've read a lot of things on the internet. Right. We've, we've heard stories and all that. Right. And I can tell you for a fact that, yeah. um, you know, the, the, the picture looked a bit different from what, you know, is, is in the books. Right. You understand? Because when I went to Train Town, mm -hmm. where, you know, Bob Marley yeah. used to visit, yeah. and he, he does a lot of things for them. Yeah. He, he, did, he, he did a lot of things for them, and a lot were not documented mm -hmm. so i went there mm -hmm. the stories from a to z and i'm like really and truly that is why bob is the king mm. the way he sacrificed you know for people right and all that so some of these stories are not being you know documented in books right you know so all these were things where i'm like yo blows and scared mm. can't believe all these things mm. you know what i mean mm. and there are some areas you know, as we've heard mm. that you, you can't go to those areas. Yeah. It is real. Wow. Because so, you, you, you tell a, a taxi man that, yo, I like to go to this place around Tavern or Papin or this. That he will ask you, which exact location do you want to go? That's if right. this area, I'm not going. Mm. Even broad daylight. He said, yo, I mean, I got them area there, man. A bad man plays that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? This is 3 Yeah, and, and not, it is real. I see. It's not like it's a joke thing or something. See. Now, I went to Tivoli Gardens. Tivoli, right. Now, mm. getting to Tivoli Gardens, uh -huh. you know, I, I was moving with Jafabio and the crew. Right. And we're videoing and all that. Mm. All of a sudden, two men on motorbike approached us. Wow. They said, yeah, listen, go up on the phone. Me why you delete all the video them. Wow. Straight. They, they dropped to we, and they were like, yo, listen, me want you to delete Every video you have on your phone, they have to go through our phones now. Um, we capture, me, to me, I captured the motorbike. Yeah. Some captured them. They deleted everything. Now, at a point in time, when the guy came close to me, you know, the man goes to boom and raises a tire like this. And you saw a gun? Yeah, man. And, I was. And showed me the two and said, yo, Bridget, the one you delete the video. And, and this is broad daylight, nothing. Wow. Broad daylight. So Stampede had to come in and say, yo, a man, a big man from Ghana, you know, radio DJ, Ray Ray said, yo. And the man was like, I don't care. Me wow. want him to delete the video. And I deleted the video. They made sure I went into the trash wow. to delete it over there before they left. And from the info I had from the area was that maybe, you know, allegedly, they may be suspected or... They might be on, 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 on some run from yeah. the police and all that kind of thing. So same. they are hiding. So they don't want their images to go out there. Same, 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 same. Not yet. Wow. From there, mm. we, I, I, we met Raskoko and he was like, Lagazi, not every place you have to video. What? Not every place. What? You understand me? What? So not the, the issues in the books, you read some and, you, and you'll be like, oh, is it real? Really and truly we've been there. And we realized that it is even more than that. Wow. Because taking simple video and a man come to you and show you too that, yo, listen, I want you to delete the video. You have to, you, you have to comply. And that was the first time you saw a gun physically, <laughs> right? <laughs> this is 3FM. This is 3FM. King Lagasse is my guest. He just returned from Jamaica after spending three weeks right there in that beautiful country. All right. Now, when you arrived in Jamaica, mm -hmm. in pomp and pageantry, yeah. having been sponsored by Asasi Radio. Definitely. And given enough cash to go and spend. <laughs> now, tell me, which were the artists you truly wanted to meet and did you meet them? Seriously, um, I think I've written on my Facebook page that if I should go to Jamaica... You know, I would love to meet Tanya Stevens. I would love to meet Bone Tequila. I will. Um, when I got to Jamaica, I went to Weddy Weddy. Seeing. And trust me, it was, it was a big dance by Stone Love. What? You know, I, I went there with Dr. Dennis Howard. Mm. We entered the place, and he was like, yo. I'm Did you pay? No, 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 no. I, I went in free. I was. Man, a superstar, man. I was. <laughs> superstar. This so is 3FM. We, after he did the introduction, they were like, yo, 
Yo, you from Ghana? Yo, love to come to Ghana, man. Ghana See. is a beautiful place, blah, 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 blah. And then boom, we entered. Not every star was, was there. there. Uh, wow. From Sky Juice. What? To who? Ev like, I can't mention names. Uh, wow. Everybody was there. Mm. I was there when um, Turbulence came in. Richie Spice, like almost all the artists, wow. they came through. Wow. And this is midweek, midweek show. Mm. Now, being there, I was told, yo, Bon Tequila mm. just arrived. And he came with huge entourage. My God. You know? And then Stampede went to Bon Tequila and was like, yo, Lagazi is here and he wants to meet you. Because you just can't walk to Killa just like that. You understand Same. me? Same. So he was like, yo, he said, yo, let the man forward the man. You see, linking artists via social media and meeting them in person is two different things. Okay. You know, because Killer doesn't respond to my messages. Mm. Even, not even on WhatsApp. I will. But immediately he got the information that Lagazi is around. He said, let the man come in. And when I was going, like people were there, Killer had to tell them, yo, move the man. The man had come to me, move the man. Wow. And everybody had to go back for me to walk through mm. the place. Mm. And then he hacked me and he was like, yo, brethren, welcome. Welcome to Jamaica, man. How, how, how do you see the place? We had, you know, a lovely conversation and he was like, yo, listen, Stumpy know where to find me. So tell him to bring you to me so we can sit down and have a beautiful chat. And I'm like, all right. You know, so almost all the artists... You know, I wanted to meet, with the exception of uh, Buju Bantan. Oh, you couldn't see Buju? Yeah, I couldn't because where Buju is, you can, you, you can go to the area, be in front of the house, but the gate will not be open. Wow. Unless he knows that you are coming or something. Mm. There should be, you know, like communication before, you know, you step in. But uh, it's not anything, you understand me? I, I try my possible best. You know, to go there and meet because I, I, I went there not less than three, four times, but I couldn't get through the gates. Wow. But we give thanks. You know what I mean? So it was Buju alone. Apart from that, the King Jammies, the, the, um, I met Berries. You know, I went to Harmony House. You know, it beautiful. It's, it's an iconic place. It's interesting. It's interesting how you went to Jamaica for such a short time and yeah. you've been able to achieve a lot. It, so much, so much. How about their food? What was it like? Yo, <laughs> Nati, um, the, you know, <clears throat> I, was, I was on Ital Foods. Yeah. You know, so there is a place called Stamford and Ales. Ital Food is vegetarian food. Yeah, you, right. know, you know, Stamford and Ales. And mm. if you go to Stamford and Ales, that is where almost 100% of the artists go to eat. Go to eat. Lord God have mercy. So this is 3FM. Um, maybe Mondays they have maybe Aki and... Salt fish. No, no fish over there. No fish. Yeah. Aki and maybe uh, mushroom oh. and all that. They have brown stew. They have this. So every day and the, the kind of food they have on the what? On the, the menu. Menu. All right. And also they have all sort of ita juice. Oh, wow. You understand? Maybe pine and ginger, you know, some of the fruit. You know, so weird and something, but oh, 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 it's nice. This is 3FM. <laughs> oh, it is nice. You understand see, me? See, yeah. See, see. Some of the food, you know, I have to close my eyes and be like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> you know, and, and their soup also. Yeah. They, 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 they'll fetch the soup and put it in the um, disposable cup for you. Yeah. Yeah, you understand and me? drink it like coffee. <laughs> this is 3FM. You know what I mean? The soup, their soup is, everything is in the soup. My you, God. You have some small yam in there. Oh. So, yeah, every, every, almost everything. Some carrot. Everything is inside. Including sugar. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> this is 3FM. So, with the food, it was, it was a beautiful experience. Even though I've tasted, you know, aki before with saltfish and all that. Same. But it's prepared in another way. You know, with rice and peas. Right. And some, you know, leaves and all that. And trust me, Nati, the best... Trust ah, me, you know. So you enjoyed their food? Of course. You enjoyed it? <laughs> yeah. You didn't miss Ghana food? <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. <laughs> this is 3 a.m. And, 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 and yeah. Nati, the similarities in Jamaica. Yeah. In term, you can see a shy man in Jamaica. Wow. Nima in Jamaica. Mm. I met a girl yeah. at the place. She looked exactly like someone I knew in Ghana. Ah. I showed her the picture and she was shocked. Wow. Yeah, so you... you you could see someone, you'd be like, yo, 
Like I know this face somewhere. Same. You understand I me? Mean, I mean the areas, the streets, how the 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 the, the taxi driver they drive rough Same. and all that. Maybe a man will step in your lane and and he'll be asking you to move out of my way. Move out. He wow. is in your lane. Wow. And telling you to move out of his way. Wow. And it's crazy, Natty. And this is broad daylight. Interesting. Yo, how about sex in Jamaica? I mean, Jamaica is an island of sex where, I mean, the <laughs> ladies are paraded on the beaches and all that. A lot of people go to Jamaica for sex tourism. Yeah. You know? Yeah. What, did, did you see something like no, that? No, no, no. I, I didn't go for that, so I didn't look no, in I, that area. Okay. Yeah, I didn't all look right. in that area. You didn't look in that area? No, I didn't oh. look in that area. Oh, so you didn't have a Jamaican girl? No, sir. <laughs> this is 3FM. <laughs> King Lagasse is my guest. Yo, Natty. Oh, my God, have mercy. <laughs> and he went to Jamaica for three weeks by the kind courtesy of the G.O.D. Yes, sir. Oh, my the God. The God himself. <laughs> Big up any time. <laughs> he went to Jamaica. In fact, the interesting thing is that he sat in a plane for the very first time. <laughs> and he flew international. He went through London and went all the way to Kingston, Jamaica. Definitely, Natty. Oh, God. <laughs> all right. So, Lagasse, tell me. I mean, it was all over in Ghana when you want this beautiful cap yeah yes um uh, tell me how you got this cap we saw i mean stampede yeah and stampede is a man who has been promoting ghana in jamaica like mad yeah i don't know what it is about ghana stampede loves so much mm -hmm. and as it stands right now stampede is joining us right now on zoom wow he was the one who took King Lagasse around yeah. and introduced him to Jamaica proper. Definitely. I'm going to speak with uh, Stampede yeah. right now. Stampede, how are you doing? Stampede, you good? Oh, my God. I'm going to try and connect this thing properly. All right, all right. Let me see what I can do. All right, Stampede, can you hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Commercial line is on. All right, Stampede, are you there? Okay, I can't. Ah, on the B, on the B. Okay, Stampede, enable your your microphone. Enable your microphone. It looks like your microphone is muted. So check it out and see on your. Okay, yeah. Hear me now. Yeah, I can hear you now, loud and clear. Oh, gosh. Stampede, I am here. <laughs> <laughs> I am here with King Lagasse. Oh, my God. Give me the cup. Show me the cup. Yeah, give yeah, it to me, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, Lord, yeah, get yeah, up, yeah, mercy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is the beautiful. <laughs> oh, my God. The whole of Ghana is so happy and so proud. Now, tell me, how did King Lagasse win this Clash Cup? Tell me. Hey, what happened you now? I took I took Lagasse to um to to original dance on Thursday. Mm. And I introduced um Peter Met Peter Metro introduced him to the crowd. Say so he's a he's Ghana biggest selector mm. and radio DJ. Mm. So what happened? We did have a great vibe. So Lagasse turned to me and said to me, Stampede, I want to enter the clash. I said, Lagasse, you really want to enter the clash? He said, Yeah. So I call I call the promoter O'Neill Famous and told him that listen, my African need to enter the clash. He <laughs> said, okay, all set. But he called me and told me that listen, Stampede, you will be clashing a female artist. I told a female selector. I told him, listen, I don't want him to clash a female selector because I know this. I know in Jamaica, once a man go up against a female a female artist or a female selector. That man can't come out winning. Right. Mm. So I, I was like, like I said, I don't want to do it. I don't want. I, I don't want the people of um of Ghana to feel embarrassed, or the people of Africa to feel embarrassed right. by a female a, a female selector winning the clash. Mm. He was like, okay, Stampede, I will do it. I I said, sure, he will do it. He said, yeah. One of my friend, one of my friend by the name of Quick Cook said. Listen, Lagazi, I don't want to do it. I'm scared for you to do it. Lagazi told me that Stampede, listen, I'm going to do it. I said, okay, for me, want to do it? Do it. I will. And yo, yo, baby, it was a great vibe. I was, I was anxious one time. I was, I was, I was fretting myself away because 
to how to how thing was going on, I said, Lagazi, listen. You have to keep your face out of the laptop. You have to you have to make the people you have to put the people in a mood. Mm. To do some song. Mm. Put them in a dancing mood. Talk to the people. Mm. It was like stampede. I cannot I cannot see the I cannot see it because, because um the, the writing is fine. So I can I cannot see the to, the way the laptop set up, I cannot see so clearly, you know? Mm. So that is why he was looking so he, he was bending bending looking at in, in uh, on the laptop. Mm. But mm. I understand that, but I I I, I keep encouraging him. I say, Lagasy, look, look, look. I, I my name is big in Jamaica. I don't want to feel embarrassed. I want you to win this clash. That's right. I want to make the Africa feel proud. I want. It's not about Ghana alone. It's about the whole Africa. That's right. You come to Jamaica and record and, and, and represent Africa. You represent the whole Africa. Saying, 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 saying. Okay. So, hey, hey, this yeah. is like a miracle. Mm. In the first time this ever happened, mm. that female female selector, she was leading three. And Lagazi was not not nowhere to be found. She was three. She had three. She win three at the round. What? what? Lagazi find a girl. I win the f I, I, I win one. So it was three one. Like this is three game, FM. Three two. Like I see, final next game again, and it was three all, and he win the clash by one. Lord God have oh, mercy. Lord God have mercy. It was, hey, hey, hey. When you want, when you see the people jumping around in the place, man, shouting African man. I was, I was, I was delighted. I was proud. Seen. All right, so Stampede, at the time that Lagazi was down one and down two and down, and it was left with the last tune to be played so that the clash would be over. How did you feel when you were in the crowd? Yo, I was feel, I, I was feel so embarrassed, man. <laughs> I was like, I know, I can't believe Lagazi are going to lose the clash, man. <laughs> but you know, I, I always, you know, I, I always believe in what I'm doing. See I will have faith in everything I do. See him. So that faith, faith lead me on, you know? Mm. And, 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 and faith also, uh, uh, also lead him on too. For real, for real. I mean, okay, so st Stampede. Uh, Lagasy won it finally. I mean, Stampede Productions and Promotions. No two weeks about them, them. I mean, you are very big in Jamaica. Tell me now, um, with yeah. Lagasy winning this clash, how is it going to help him? Hey, listen, listen. This is a, this is a, this is the starting for something new. Wow. wow. To, it, to, to see to see Lagazi like come to Jamaica and win a clash, and it was a son from the US. Oh, it was wow. a next son from England. Mm. And to see Lagazi like Lagazi like winning that clash there, that is the that is the light showing. For the African vibe, for our African vibe. Interesting. Now, did you show Lagazi some of the tunes he should play? Some of the dubs he should play? Did you teach yeah, him? Yeah, listen. <laughs> we we talk about so hey, we talk about so many things. But Lagazi did have a dub up front. He have everything planned it. Ah, what? Because with me, with me giving the guidance and telling him what to do and telling him all the Jamaican vibe is like, and he was in the street mm. and he see what the vibe is like. When, when, hey, when he when when we was by Stone Love and he take the mic and he he, he 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 talked to the people, it was a great vibe. People loving him. See, people was like, oh, in fact, let, let me tell you this. I was the first one in Jamaica to talk a lot about Africa. That's right. No one else in Jamaica used to do it. Mm. Hey, you 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 see you see when it when it was when it was a COVID. Mm. Every week. Every week I put a Ghana artist on Jamaica biggest television, which is that's TV true. Television. True, yeah. And mm. African, the African artists always come out winning. Ah, whoa. You understand me? Tell so me. Uh, everywhere in Jamaica, you everywhere people, people in Jamaica know that I always give support to African. Stop. You know, you, 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 you know my friend Baba Wine is from Uganda. Right. He come to Rebel Salute and right. tear the place down. And mm. there's a lot of. Hey, right now. Right now, people are looking up, looking forward, looking more an African right now. Even, uh, even in, even in, even in the Spanish country, mm. Panama right now, is a lot of Af a lot of Afrobeat playing in Panama. Uh, Colombia, a lot of Afrobeat art song playing in Colombia right now. Seeing, seeing, seeing. So I, 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 in, in Colombia, so I'm in Panama right now, and I'm promoting a few African artists. Positive. I'm promoting. I, I'm promoting right now Jeffrey King. 
Ah, whoa, Jeffrey yes, King. Sir. All right, right here from Ghana. Positive. Now, Stampy, tell me, every artist from Ghana that you put in Jamaica ends up winning something. Do you believe in Obia? You work Obia too? <laughs> yo, yo, Gwan. You know, they call it witchcraft. In Jamaica, they call it Obia. But, you know, you know, a lot of people believe in those stuff. In those stuff. Those stuff are real, you know. Those stuff are mm. real, but... You see, you see, once you once you have God in your heart, and you have God as your leader, you conquer all. That's true, very true. Now, Stampy, tell me, what is it about Ghana you like so much? Every now and then, I see you hey, promoting hey, Ghana. Hey, yeah. Hey, let me tell you this. Yeah. From I was going to school, from I was going to school, I always loved Africa. I always draw the map of Africa in my school book. See. Yeah, I understand me. See. So, so when I get the chance to meet. To meet to meet this African guy from Kenya, mm. I I I, I he, he, he was the one. We he, he was the one. He was one. He was my first African friend. Mm. You understand me? This he is three FM. Ah, so after that, after that, after that, I start to I start to circulate the world of Africa. So I meet I meet up with Beanie. Mm. I meet up with Beanie. Right. So after I meet up with Beanie. I, I, we communicate a lot, and then I meet up with um, a poet, a, a, a poet from um, he's from Ghana. I don't, I don't remember his name right now. Mm. He was in Jamaica, and I, and I meet him in Jamaica. And we were, we have a great vibe, you know. Positive. So, yeah. So the people of Africa seeing me on Facebook and seeing me, the, um, doing so many things for Africa. What happened? Most people in a various part of Africa reach out to me and show me love. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna promote these African artists and promote and talk about Africa more. Ah, whoa! Thank you so hey, much. Um, hey, I'm listen, stampede. Yeah, hey, man. listen to me. Mm. You see, King Lagazi is a selector that I respect and rate. Respect. You understand me? Mm. Yeah, because I put him, I put him, I, I put him in the Jamaica Observer newspaper. Ah, whoa! You understand me? Yeah. I do, a, I, I do a thing. I do, I put him in the Jamaica newspaper. But you have an ex art, an ex selector by the name of. Nature One. Nature One, right, yeah. He's my, yeah, he, he, he's a good friend of mine. In fact, in fact, all the selectors, all the radio DJ in Ghana, ah, wow. Stampede wants to say big up. This they are is my 3FM. Friend. Ah, wow. Stampede, we want to say thank you so much for all that you're doing for Ghana. If you have any message for Ghana, tens of thousands of people hey, are watching hey, you. Hey, Talk hey, to listen, them. Mm. Listen, I want to big up, I want to big up cash. Mm. I want to big up Cash. He's a great friend of mine mm. from Nima. When I come, I want to I want I want to visit Nima. Right. When I come, I want to visit Nima. Ah, what? Shut up, Wally. Big up yourself. See him. You know, you know, he, 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 you know, you know, talented artist. Stone Boy is my friend. You know when Stone Boy comes to Jamaica, he always look up his stamp. See him. See him. Yo, the world of the world of Ghana, man. The world of Ghana. If you hey, in Tiba the Garden. Like I said, they tell you that you see a map. We, have, we draw the map of, uh, 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 of, of Ghana. Right. You see by the garden. See it. Mm -hmm. See it. Yeah. Right. A beautiful yeah, thing. He was there. He took he take photo with me. He took photo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my Coco. God. See it. He meet a lot of, of friends. Mm. Yeah, like I said, pick up yourself. And I want the whole Ghana, the, the whole entire Ghana to be happy. Be proud of that. To be proud of Lagazi. Respect. Same. Respect, Stampede. He opened, he opened the gateway for a lot of African. Yeah, African man. Africans. Big gate, man. It's not about Ghana alone. He opened the gateway for a lot of African. But listen, let me say this. The biggest, the biggest, the biggest African selector right now who's going around winning all the clash. I want him to know that. Listen. Anytime you're ready to clash with Lagazi, we are ready. <laughs> this is 3FM. And that's dynamic. Lagazi right? is dynamic. ready for any clash. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Stampede. Thank you so much for talking to us. And Ghana loves you. Yeah, man. Big up yourself, Stampede. Mm -hmm. Love, love, love. Yeah, man. Spread. Big up. Uh, yeah. Song that won the clash. Oh, um, we're going to watch Lagazi doing the clash, man. Watch King Lagazi <laughs> and the clash. And Lagazi, you are going to tell us exactly what you were feeling when this clash was on. All right. So, I mean, yo, Lagazi, when you were down one, you were down two, and the third one, and it came to tune for tune. <laughs> tell me now. Tell me what, what was your feeling like. All right. So, 
first and foremost, I would like to say big respect to Dynamic. Right. Because before the clash, mm -hmm. a day before the clash, right. my laptop wiped. Oh, my God. I went to do interviews at Penthouse. I came back, transferred everything onto the MacBook. All of a sudden, what I see in the right corner was update. And nothing. I was so tired. Mm. As I was dozing off, and then I clicked on, on the, the update. Uh, update. Before and I could see, <laughs> they say, restart your, um, your MacBook, install your iCloud. I said, what is Immediately, I have to sit upright. Wow. A day before the clash. Oh, my God. And Dynamic had called me already, and he was like, Legacy, mm. you know that you can create history with this clash. Wow. Legacy, you, what song, what dubs do you have? Who is Dynamic? Dynamic is a good friend of mine. We mm. met, um, I saw a clash he did with Black Chinese in Belize. So he's a clash artist. He's a clash. He, he's the African champion now. Where is he from? He's from South Sudan. All right. So this is Dynamic. Dynamic. He's the man, King Legacy is talking about yeah. the African clash champion. Yeah. Kennedy oh, wow. Ongele, lawyer. Kennedy Ongele. Oh, Ongele. <laughs> <laughs> lawyer. I would like to say big respect to you because he called me. He was like, what is your preparation like? This is Robadop Thursdays. This you have to play a lot of Robadop, you know, you know, dubs mm. for the crowd to cheer for you. Without right. that, trust me, you're going to lose this clash. Wow. And seriously, Dynamic, he put some fire in me at, at, at the same time to stampede. Wow. Because when I, after the laptop wiped, I had to call home, I had to call this, Charlie, my dubs and all that. I had to get new set of dubs. Oh, my God. There were some dubs that I, I selected from the beginning, and I could have won the clash easily from the word go. What is a dub? Um, a dub plate is, you know, an original 45 song. Mm. You know, what that's is 45. Uh, 45 is the record. Oh. The record itself, like the MP3 song. You understand? Oh, the, MP3 yeah, song. Okay, yeah. the song. Okay. Yeah. Or the record itself is term in some sound system culture as 45. 45, okay. So the 45 itself, when an artist maybe release a 45, yeah. he will take you know some portion of it and put your, your sound name and all that in oh, there. So it's specialize like, it. It's like contacting the musician who originally made the hit song. Yes. And then you have it customized for you with your name inside. Inside with your sound. And then you, you can also rewrite. Yeah. You understand me? You know, um, let's say, uh, I went to a reggae beat party. You can say, I went to a sound clash party. Lagazi sound is the number one. Ah, wow. Something like that. You ah, understand wow. me? So you customize it for the See. sound system or the selector. See. It becomes a dub plate. And also, we have, a, we, we have what we call special. The special is, you pick the same instrumental, but you can put, you can rewrite everything again. See. You write a whole, you know, um, dub for the selector or the sound system before we have the custom name called you know dubs which i say okay i want you to maybe um say a b c d about dynamic because i'm, I'm going to clash him oh okay. so i'll bring up a story i cook up a story you understand me and all that and then you play that okay you understand me then you sing that for me and i'll go and play it wow so the dubs we have different types mm -hmm. you know and all that so it's, it's artists competing against each other, right? Clash it, artists, it, right? It, it is not really artists competing against each other mm. because you go, you go to the artist yeah. that um, I want you to do this for me. Right. For example, on, the, on that particular day, mm -hmm. I called Wayne Stevenson. You know, he actually drove me to Paint House to go cut up plate for me, especially wow. for Dance Thursdays. Wow. So it was a custom made for the night. Wow. And that dog, I can't play it anywhere again. Wow. It's for only that night. Wow. You understand me? Yes. So Dynamic called me. He was like, Legacy, wait, 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 wait. put everything together and call me and let's go through it. And then he said, I'll show you some trick. Mm. Now the following day I called him and I'm like, my laptop is wiped. I said, Legacy, what are you going to do? Oh my God. You can't afford to go and lose this clash. Wow. Remember, I have set the pace for Africans in exactly. Jamaica. I said, yes, when I got, when I got on the grounds, you know, I, I, I felt that because anywhere I go, they say, yo, Another bad African, you know. See, see. Some people say, yo, this, this African, you're bad. This, that, that, that. Because he had to promote his person. Mm. Now, on the day, after putting everything together. Right. On the day of the clash, yeah. I went. When I went, I was playing against um, Super Good Sound from right. the US. And Super Good is a big sound. They can even play Garnet Silk. Wow. So, it's a sound system from those days till wow. now. They've wow. got tunes. And, he, and he's saying Ghana Silk because Ghana Silk is not alive anymore. Of course. So you cannot get any new dubs no, from that, you know. You, you can't get Ghana Silk. Yeah. You understand me? So 
when I went there, and then we had playmaker from the UK. Mm. And these sound systems are loaded with dubs. Wow. So I was like the underdog. Wow. You understand me? So when we went, playmaker started, and he was trying to bring the robot dub vibe. Yeah. Matter of fact, he stick to the plan. Yeah. In terms of playing robot dub and all that, I'm like, yo, jeez, some peace. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All my dub, them gone. But my, but my first round, I get some forwards. Yeah. And I realized that, no, there is hope. Yeah. When Super Goal step in, he, she mashed up the place because wow. they told me that the lady was going to select and then the man will come and talk. Right. But here's the case where they left everything for the lady because in Jamaica, they kind of give reverence to ladies more than men. Oh my God. You understand? In terms of competition, Same. because of this kind of girl power talks. Same. Same. Now, after the voting, mm -hmm. she won the first round. I, I, I became second. Yes. And Playmaker was third. Okay. The second round came. We went. And then the way Playmaker played, Immediately, I held the microphone. I said, yo, playmaker, clap for him yeah. as he's going home. Yeah. Because me and Super God are going for two for two. I see. So I rather push him out. Two for two. two. This is 3FM. So, boom, bam, I played my second round. It was okay. Yeah. Playmaker played. Mm -hmm. She bust the place. Wow. And we went for the dog for dog. Mm -hmm. Nothing. She played. Because she's a woman, they yeah. say, let the woman play first. Right. She played, mm -hmm. and I played. She played, and I played. And Peter Metro and Snagapus and all them and them at my back, they were rooting for the girl. I see. And they are big artists yeah. in Jamaica. <laughs> they were all rooting for the girls. I ah, was. Wow. And Peter Metro was like, yo, Africa, you know I played that thing right, man. You know I played that thing right. <laughs> yo, you see. This <laughs> is 3 FM. Aside, it, there were some gimmicks at my back. You yeah. understand me? Yeah. But I was, I was focused. <laughs> now... Nothing. When I was down 3 0, yeah. then Peter, I heard Peter Mitchell saying that, You're African, the clash is done. Clash is over. Yeah. And I'm like, I turned to him and I'm like, Clash not done yet. Uh, well. Now, Nothing, listen to the joke. Mm. Going on my laptop, yeah. I felt a tap on my shoulder. Yeah. And a whisper in my ears. Yeah. Play Anthony Johnson. I see. Who told you that? I, I just I turned around and there was nobody. Oh, it must have been an engine. <laughs> this is <laughs> you know what I mean? FM. You see? Wow. It, it, it was so... Like, I mystica. Felt, yeah, mystica. Like a tap on my shoulder, play Anthony in my ears. Lager. So I even thought um, it was Peter Metro. But I turned around and there was nobody. Ah, so wow. I went on the laptop and then I selected Anto uh, Anthony Johnson. Wow. And then I dropped it. Ooh, yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. Mm -hmm. Every day is a sound clash. Mm. Like I said, you might go win that. Yo, it was a, ah, wow. it was a four corner foul, <laughs> <laughs> and that was where the table turned. See? And afterwards, again, I went in hard with Johnny Osborne. The whole place went crazy. Down. And then I played another Johnny Osborne again, and then it came to three three. Uh huh. And then I played Win Wonder. The, the Win Wonder I played was yeah. a bit jiggy. Yeah. So. Um, the great Ricky Trooper was standing in front of us and he was like, yo, Metro, don't count that man. Let them play another one-one oh. one again. Don't count that. Oh, wow. Don't count that. I, 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 I actually heard them say yeah. that there were two weak tunes you guys yes. played. So we had to go back into the box, yes. deep into the box and play. See. And then <laughs> Super God played <laughs> win wonder combination with Buju Bantan. Right. Saddest day in a yeah. sound's life. Yeah. When she played that song, I'm like, Geez. when I heard it, I was I was sweating. <laughs> I, said, I said, this is a big tune. Like as it does that now. Jeez and peace. See. What should I play? Uh -huh. I went on the laptop. Yeah. Then I saw the <laughs> <laughs> Admiral Tibet. I was like, yo, let me play this. I was. And straight forward, <laughs> straight across the board. When I drop it, everybody starts scratching their head. You lock up the whole thing. <laughs> Trust me, when this one dropped, the whole place was on fire. Now watch how the clash went. Watch it. Take your time. You are playing with one serious song from Africa. And the You are playing the
true for you, please. Yeah, man. I'm some like it. And a big number now in the box. But show me like it. Got them people in a bias in My people then. Them rubber dog people, you see. We build this platform that way. Not a boogie yaga team. So you know now. All the artists them where I work, on a line up in them. I don't want a man still to curl through the cover. They don't come around here, so now, all the artists them. So watch you now. Voting time, only you come around here with a trophy now. See? Come around here with a trophy. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, SpongeBob. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to see the hands. Turn the camera and the crowd. All who say Super Bowl, win the round and let me see how they are in the year. Not one. Look at the crowd for myself. All who say the African, win the round and put the hand in the year. Take the one in the hand now. So overall, all this is 3FM. Africa, win the sun class tonight. Two of them are here now. Salud, salud, only famous, the CEO, they get away with that. Yeah, man. Two sound pretty nice. See, the lead go on good, two man go on good. All the sound in here, me can go on good, and my face is not real true. Yeah. But you know what? We are sick of truth that go on Ghana, yeah. You saw fire and stamping. We are sick of Ghana. Ghana, Ghana, Ghana. 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 And of course, King Lagasse won the clash, as you can see right here. Oh my God, have mercy. And when the tune dropped, the whole place crack. Not too ways about them Tinder man. Oh my God. And then his confidence was so high. My brother, my sister, that is the cop we have right here. All the way from Jamaica. Sound clash winner 2024. African. <laughs> <laughs> so Lagasse, what does this do to your career? Yo, Nati. You know, long time me and you are talking about this. See, 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 long see. time we are discussed this that yo, I would like to take Lagasse Sound International on tour. Yeah. You know, because I see other sound systems doing it. Mm. You understand me? As as I was coming from Jamaica, the the, the current um sound clash at sea, mm. you know, welcome to Jamrock Oga from Japan. He is in Jamaica. Oh, whoa. And trust me, uh, um he even played on 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 Stone Love. Yeah. You understand yeah, me? Yeah. So this is the thing. Mm -hmm. We would like to take Lagasse Sound International on tour. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're starting from Africa, going to Europe and right. all that. You understand me? Mm -hmm. And now we want to take this class thing serious because we've been collecting dubs from like 2000. Um, six seven, mm. you understand? Me? We, we've been collecting dub here and there, mm. and our dub box is a bit fat. You understand me? And wow. we, we can defend ourselves. Fat like so, Ricky Trooper, of course. Uh, well. And winning this kind of, you know, this um, is three um, FM. Ink it that what what we have been pushing for years, you know, God has kind of endorsed it for us now. Wow. So now is the right time for us to step on the road. See, you know, so we, we are open for bookings, man. Ah, wow. You know, Europe, America, wherever you are. You, you understand ready to me? go kill sound. Yo, listen. You ready to go kill sound? Listen, my passport, good now. You understand me? <laughs> this we can is go anywhere FM. now. <laughs> and I must say that Lagazi. Yes, remember we are also live on Conscious Vibes right there inside Manchester in Connecticut, America. Yeah. Conscious Vibes Radio and TV. So this is broadcast live in America as well. Congratulations, Lagazi. Salute, and I, must, Nati. I must say that Lagazi was also very instrumental in getting us some very powerful collaborations. <laughs> Respect, Nati. In fact, very big collaborations. Give thank Nati. Now, when you look at the new Black Rasta album coming up, in fact, 20 Hearts tracks, we have some wicked collaborations in there. Trust me, Lagazi played a big role in getting those ones done. And in September, when we release another album, more collaborations, Lagazi's travel to Jamaica did a lot. Now, what piece of suggestion, if you want to call it advice, call it advice, would you have for other sound clash artists in Ghana? All right, so first and foremost, let me start from the artist. Mm. 
see in Jamaica from Monday to Monday, yeah. there is always a bashment in the night. Ah, wow. And every artist from Sizzler to who you see them going there to support it. Basically, over here are typical reggae shows. The dancers are empty almost yeah. all the time. Yeah. yeah. This is the time for us. Let's stop. I, I am this and I am that and I am this and I belong to this and all that. Those fashions, let's put all aside. Let us go to our dances. And support. And support. Let us show these people that we have the numbers. Listen, reggae, we have the numbers over here in Ghana. Mm. Jamaica is just 3 million people, but at yeah. the end of the day, they wake up and support each other. Right. But we don't do that over here. No. And our, our musicians too, in terms of your, your, your rehearsal, when you want to play live music, you book studio, you have to go there on time. These people, they take their work so serious. I met a producer who, who went onto his phone and nothing. The cash the man showed me mm. that he's getting from music, I mm. couldn't believe my eyes. That's I said, crazy. ah, so people can make such money from music? Wow. But we are not experiencing that over here in Ghana. No, we are not. I want to tell my people that, please, it is not about you know this or you know that. Let us put all our differences aside. Let's come together as one and build this. At a point in time in Ghana, every, every artist wanted to record reggae song. Mm. Uh, allow me to tell? Yeah, true. At a point in time mm. in Ghana. So what happened to that era? What happened to that era? At a point in time in Ghana, every artist wants to record a dance or song. Yeah, that's what true. What happened to that, what you know, happened era? To that era? Yeah. You understand? And now Afrobeat has taken over the place. Yeah. But still now people enjoy reggae. That's true. You understand me? So that's please, true. let us wake up, my people. Let us wake up come together and do this together and to the sound men too please take your dub plate cutting very serious learn how to write your own dubs tell the artist to sing because i went to jamaica i had I, I i hear people playing dubs and i'm like oh wow wow making some serious argument in the dance mm. because if you continue to play those lame dub plate believe you me it won't take you anywhere oh, wow. do you think any Ghanaian dub plate could have warned you this clash no because it's Robadop Thursdays. Yeah. And basically, you have to play Robadop dubs over there. Mm. It like, it, the, the, the instrumentals have to be Robadop. Yeah, you understand yeah, me? And, yes. Yeah, right. and, and, and over here, when you give Robadop rhythms to some of the artists, with the exception of few, like mm. the red ones, mm. like the, you know, the black messiahs, like mm. the Kwame patterns and all that. You understand mm. me? But I was looking for it. Over, over there in Jamaica, no Ghanaian artists could have worked over there simply because they, 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 they were paying attention to some of the big artists in Jamaica, like the Johnny Osborne, like the, um, 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 oh, oh, ah. Uh, Anthony Johnson? Like, like the Anthony Johnsons, like mm, the, uh, Admiral Tibet. Admiral Tibet, Admiral yes. Bailey, all those people. You understand me? They want to hear something from the veterans who were the kingpins in, in, um, um, in the Robert Up era. That's right. Like the, oh, what is it? I keep, right. What's this music? Let's um, sing it on. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, he, 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 I think Josie Wales even kind of um, learned from him. Yellow Man? No. Uh, whoa. Not Yellow Man. Uh, Borobantan? Not Borobantan. Uh, whoa. <laughs> Why is it that? This is 3FM. Oh, you know, so all these artists. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, okay. You were saying that Josie Wales learned from him? Yeah. It must be Shatawali. <laughs> This is 3FM. <laughs> but that's you know, easy, man. All right. Okay. You understand me? Yeah. yeah, so um, all this art, they were, they were yearning to hear some of these big dubs. Yeah. So that was the main reason when I dropped the Admiral Tibet. They were like, yo, imagine somebody playing Win Wonder, yeah. Bujibantan combination. Yeah, that's crazy. You understand me? That's and you, you playing Admiral Tibet. That was mad. Admiral Tibet is, is, is the grandfather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You understand me? For real. So immediately I dropped it. They say, Lagazi, you have it. Forward. You know? So they were yearning to hear that. So in Ghana, for instance, in a clash, I should be able to play Black Rasta. I should be able to play Shashamali. Yeah. I should be able to play Felis Bell. Yeah, yeah, for real. I should be able to play Ruth Anambo. Yeah. You know, all these people. But mm. Ask yourself, yeah. do we even understand the dub plate 
you know, business over here in Ghana because in, 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 in... We don't understand it yet. Yeah. It's, it's, it's you always opening the eyes of the people to sound, I mean, system culture. Of you course, know? of course. I'm, 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 I'm sure that um, Marco Krekumante is listening to the show. <laughs> I mean, anyway. Yeah. All right. We got to, we got to go now. All right, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Respect and manners. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so, man. Yo, so, yo, Lagazi, like thanks so much for coming on the show. Respect. But I'll give you a 30-second slot so that you can and say something to the rest of Ghana. But in the interim, if your cocoa farm is dying, then you need Adama. Now, Adama is here to stay. Hey, if your cocoa farm is suffering from Akate, Ate, or cocoa tum tum, and other major insects that are destroying your cocoa farm, you must be going for Adama. Now, Adama is here, and it's also a weedy side that clears all the weeds and would make your work easier. My brother, my sister, you can't have a cocoa farm, a successful one without Adama. Call Adama right now on 0544 325030. That is 0544 325030 or 0270. Five seven five zero three zero. That is zero two seven zero five seven five zero three zero or zero thirty two seven eight seven six eight seven. I take it again zero thirty two seven eight seven six eight seven. Adama is here to stay, proud sponsor of the African Historic Club. Lagazi, thirty seconds. Um, I would like to say big respect to the team of Lagazi Sound International. Mm. Junior managed to all the way in Norway. Benedict Jaffes and Bob Africa. Mm. Yo, big respect to my team also on Asasi Radio, Naro Bawa, and to DJ Rainey, mm. who, who kind of, who at the back, not forgetting Mrs. Money, who, who is always doing the checks and balances and mm. making sure that, you know, everything is right mentally, spiritually, and all that. Mrs. Money, anywhere you find yourself. Love, 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 and love, G-O-D. love, love, love. Yeah. And G-O-D. And don't forget the G-O-D. I you understand? Because we big him up already, but the G-O-D, in respect, stockpile, you know. All right. Big up yourself every time. Now your salary on Assassin's Radio would increase. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I tell you. Well, like I said, thanks so much for coming on the Bless show. Blessings, Natty. And give thanks for having me. All right. <laughs> we are living in a serious time. What are things are rusty?